Just so you know, if you have the highest inflation in 40 years due to out of control government spending and printing, of course, Democrat solution is to spend another $739 billion. That is almost a trillion. They throw around these numbers like it's nothing. It used to be billions was a big number and like, oh my gosh, the government's going to spend billions or a few billion, right? I think the TARP Act was like a bailout of a few billion or something. And then recently with the COVID, seven trillion. Now they have to get as close to trillion as possible. It's just like the way it goes. Get ready for the Biden recession to turn into the Biden depression. That might happen. I'm not so sure. I think the economy is probably stronger than people realize, but inflation is still this insidious rot on all of it that we all pay for. And it's sad because most people don't understand it. They don't, they don't want to understand it because it requires learning financial literacy, like in maybe studying a little bit of history and understanding like how to protect yourself and, you know, maybe buying some assets and not just spending money every weekend and going into more debt. I mean, it's sad and people are going to really understand it when we have 50% inflation, hyperinflation. That's when they'll understand it. They'll have no choice in the matter because they'll go to the store to get a gallon of milk and it'll be $4 or $5, or whatever it is today. I think it's like seven bucks at this point. And then it'll be $20 a gallon. And they'll be like, whoa, eggs will be $15 a dozen. I literally spent $8 on eggs the other day, a dozen eggs, $8. It was almost a dollar an egg.